So ice turns into snow, and volcano turns into... More ice. It's dormant now, because we killed the lobster. That's, that's... On the plus side, you got all the stars now in Cool Cool Mountain. <laughs> Very true. So, based on the trend of places we're going to, World 4 was sort of foresty. Now we're in a castle! Don't know what the correlation is, we're just in a castle. Have fun with it. Look, there's a knight. He has a lance. I like how the knight's way bigger than the actual, like, castle brick. <laughs> that just doesn't make sense. Also, I'm thinking that giant bomb might be the enemy I was thinking of last part. That's just the bomb enemy, but big. Now, whether he turns into a powerful bomb or not, I can't remember. But I think if you destroy him, the other bombs separate into regular bomb enemies, which means if you don't kill them all in one fell swoop, it can get very problematic very quickly. Unless he magically turns into a line bomb. Regardless. I mean, just from that description, it seemed like one of the more troublesome enemies. Regardless, he spells trouble and I'm, I'm not up for that. <laughs> so, we'll do it that way. Also, you may have seen, the, uh, the castles there, the, the rooks, they're, um, making more shields. Oh, uh, <laughs> cause the rook in, yeah, I get it. Yeah, you could say the castling. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> it's all good. I get it. And I don't remember that part in chess. Where you could just use one rook to make twenty pawns. That's t that's totally in the rule book. <laughs> yeah. I get it. it. I don't get it. I don't remember what it was. I remember in high school, a lot of people used to be salty when it came to playing chess, if they played chess, because. Like, oh, I want to use advanced moves. I'm like, what advanced moves in particular? They just pull a book out of the library and be like, this is an advanced move. And then they'd never adhere to the rules of the move. They literally showed me a book on what they were doing. What advanced movement is there in chess? Your pe all the pieces do the thing. They're, they're set. So the advanced move is what's known as pawn and pasan capture, where if the pawn is in the fifth row, and a piece is directly next to it, it can capture it by moving diagonally behind it. But it has to be in the fifth row only. Yeah, there's like a lot of weird rules like that with special moves in chess. Which is why, if you watch like competitive chess, is, is why it's... <laughs> it always takes forever. Because there's so many things you gotta think about. There's competitive chess? Oh, oh yeah, there's always been competitive chess. Well, I know that, but I'm mean, like on like uh, television and stuff. Yeah. Uh, oh, Twitch. Uh, Type in chess. There's gonna be a lot of big games. Natural competition. I'm just picturing chess with like um with snooker commentary. <laughs> well, that'll definitely spice things up. I think more people would watch it. I mean, if they got a good commentator, definitely. Wait. What commentary did you say? You... Snooker. <laughs> oh, I thought you said Snoop Dogg. Who? That would also make more people probably watch it just because I'm trying to see him commentate anything seriously. I mean, I mean, if if, if Snoop Dogg can be an Aspire of the Dragon <laughs> ad and also a menu <laughs> log ad, I'm pretty sure he can make anything interesting. I remember, like, and he tried streaming for a while on Twitch, and people were just memeing it up for that because it was just so out there. Like, his commentary was just so, so weird. I, I remember when he was, uh, he played Moses on Epic Rap Battles of History. <laughs> B to the O to the M O S E. <laughs> That's just insane. Oh my god. That reminds me of this one picture that Amber posted on my uh, Facebook one time. It was a, I guess it was a thing where he was talking to the kid. He says, what you, what you reading? The kid's like, Charlotte's Web. He says, oh, that book with Wilbur? That pig was dope.
Yeah, sounds about right. <laughs> uh, you know, that was really surprisingly wholesome. <laughs> I mean, wholesome in the loosest sense of the word. What are you talking about? Like, Charlotte's Web is- No, no, I'm not gonna go. <laughs> I was about- I was literally about to do one of those what's happening fellow kids moments there and just feel like, no, don't. <laughs> don't, don't, don't do the dumb. How's it going, fellow kids? I don't, I don't, I don't need to intentionally do a meme that ages itself incredibly easily just for the sake of a, a bad joke. No, don't worry, Matt does that every video. I do it all the time. <laughs> I have no game. I follow an account on Twitter ancient memes, so. Oh. Um. Wait, how are you doing that? You can't follow yourself on Twitter. Hey! <laughs> oh, what a vicious Let's cycle. I'm whenever whenever I meet you in real life, I'm going to slug you. <laughs> <laughs> At least he's honest about it. And yes, that is a threat. <laughs> oh, these knights and the blocking of the bombs. I hate it so much. It's like when you throw a bomb on their head, they just spin in a circle. Yeah. And the annoying thing is, if their shield blocks an explosion... <laughs> what would you do if a bomb was thrown on your head? It not only puts their shield forward, but then they dash at you? Yeah. It's a pain in the butt, and the hitbox is very misleading, because, yeah, the lance actually goes through solid objects, it just doesn't physically hurt you. Yay. 9-4. We're getting there. We're really getting there. Climbing up this castle to then leave the castle and go further up the mountain. You know, as you do. Oh. At this moment, he knew he fucked up. <laughs> Why'd you drop another bomb, bomber man? You could have held it in. No, Shouldn't have got no, the dangerous no. bomb in the first place. It's like it's just a constant reminder of never again. <laughs> every time you think it's a good idea, it's not. Just, just stop it. I feel like almost every time you have used it, you have died from it. Yeah. So you're not wrong. There he go. And there he goes. There's the exit. Don't do the dumb. The, the bomb the hit counts, but because he had the shield in front of him afterwards, he ah, I've done it again. Thank you, Invincible. <laughs> yeah, sometimes I forget you have that power on. It's like, how is he doing that? Yeah, it is the one problem of any game with Sprite Flicker, especially from this era. Very tricky to still capture it well on screen. Wait, hey, that's why you have to record in 60 frames. I'm trying, but even then the Sprite Flicker is struggling like crazy. I remember when I was, you know, a long, long time ago when I did my Mega Man X playthrough, and I that I had the first instance of that happen on my, on my capture card. Like, why isn't it showing up? And I was so confused on why it was. Didn't understand the frame per second meant what, what that meant. It felt so silly back then. Yeah, back then, that's before any of us knew what 60 frames meant. Yeah. I think that, I feel like that was also a big struggle, especially with any of the Sonic games, because if it wasn't the shield causing the problem, it was some Chaos Emerald in some location somewhere flashing fast and being colorful and doing all of that nonsense. Yeah. Although, if you ever need a good 60 FPS test, Sonic 2 is your game. Actually, I even say Sonic CD. Sonic CD is incredibly good for it, because since... Yeah, but Sonic 2 is on everything. I mean, so is Sonic CD as well. I, actually, is CD Not on, on the Switch? Not on the Switch. Oh. So I can't test in 60.00 frames per second. That test fails. Well... I mean, to be fair, now with the way they're expanding the Christian Whitehead ports, now having them all on PC, I'm pretty sure there's some way of homebrewing it anyway. Still, golly, Sonic City struggles to get consistent 60 FPS. 
In terms of recording, the game is able to hit the 60 frames per second, but depending on what platform you're going through, it can ratchet down to a smudgy mess very quickly if it's coming through slow. Yeah, yeah, it's true. Especially you know when you're not comparing like the the new PC version. When you look back at the original Sega CD PC version, GameCube ports, like it, it, they all just jumped in certain areas. No, I was um I was doing some quality testing stuff and trying to see if I could get it. Nope. I haven't the words. I haven't the words. Oh, I I didn't realize you had to walk through block power for a second. Like, did you just clip inside that wall? <laughs> yeah. Sometimes you have to lay down the law or abuse the law of physics. One or t'other. Either or. What am I doing? Making a mess of things. <laughs> I just have fun. I like how he's the one trying to defend his friend but failing horribly because he still died. Questionable camaraderie. You see, the shield protects one of you, not two of you. See, this is why when you're ever playing games with parties balanced between different classes, you never have two tanks. Because if everyone's defending, nothing gets done. This is why someone has to pick healer. This is why one of you needs to be support and the other one needs to be the tank. Because if you're both playing support, you'll both do a ton of damage and just die a lot. Or, if you're both playing tank, you'll all defend and do no damage. Oh, golly. Everyone out here playing Bastion. No, no one's playing Mercy. Come on, need the healer. <laughs> I'm glad I had the foresight this time to actually use the bottom screen to think the good. And that was a good shot. Yeah, I feel like that gets even worse if you're playing on like a 3DS or something because you super tunnel vision the bottom screen because like almost no 3DS game utilizes it like a DS game did. So if you play a game like that, I swear you're gonna just forget what's on your bottom screen. I've done that in a couple games. And when they do utilize it, they tend to more so go the Pokemon direction. So it's half of the time it's doing nothing, and then the rest of the time it's just basically, here's the interface that you can scroll through with the buttons anyway. Yeah, and then some games that literally don't try, because I've actually played some games that just make the bottom screen black. Like, well, we don't know what to put down there, so we'll put nothing. Literally an interface. It's like any game that puts a map on the bottom screen, love it. That's why every time they've remade a Battle Network game with that function, I've just been like, thank you. This is, this is so good, especially when they remade Battle Network 1 in Japan. It's like, the one thing this game needed was a map feature. <laughs> Thank you so much. Maps are nice to have, I don't care what anybody says. Man. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's better than having nothing. Yeah. I still remember, I got my Wii U. One of the games that came with it, Donkey Kong Country Tropical Free, is like, oh cool, I get to see what cool, unique innovations this gamepad has. What's that? The other screen does nothing. Okay. Didn't at least Donkey Kong Country Returns have a map on the bottom, uh, on the tablet? And then also for the 3DS version? Well, when you played the 3DS version, yeah, they utilized the bottom screen for some extra stuff. I mean, come on. You would think they would think of that for both. Yeah, Retro just didn't, like, eh, nah. Let's, let's, let's just... You pick one screen to play on, the other screen gets nothing. Literally nothing. And my immediate thought is, I mean, if Hyrule Warriors can get it right. If Splatoon can get it right. Yeah. I like this a lot. It's not that Splatoon did, at least. Because at least it tried. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because certain specials use the bottom screen. And I mean, yeah, now with, um... Splatoon 2, a lot of it's been relegated to a trigger button, but still, the convenience of it was really well done, I think. I remember when Splatoon 2 first came out, a lot of Splatoon 1 veterans just didn't use the map because they were not used to it being on a button. Mm. I think the, the thing that amazes me still is, I could never adjust to gyro aiming with Splatoon 1, so I just didn't even try with Splatoon 2, I'm just like, nah. 
I, I think the biggest problem with the Splatoon 1 gyro was just the gamepad itself, because I think it was way too big for motion control. Because mm. I pretty much did that with Splatoon 1 as well. Could not play with motion on that because the gamepad was way too big. And especially because whenever I play stuff, I usually play on my desk on a computer monitor. So if you whip a gamepad in the wrong direction, you're whacking wood. Oh. Not nearly as hard to do that with a pro controller. That thing's a much smaller profile, way easier to shake around without hitting something. Mm. More comfortable in the hands. Good hope so, yeah. Also, it had a battery better than a potato, so there's that too. Didn't have to play that... with it wired. True. Potato battery, not the way to go. Please, please, please. Yes. So got the shield. Awesome. And then I just got those four. Nice and clean. Going pretty well so far. Which, you know, for being a little past the halfway point of this world is good. <laughs> a score of over two million. I'm just trying to work out what are the logical things to go into a 9-7 with so that I'm not putting myself out of pocket for world 10. Like, it's, it's the thing that every one of these worlds I'm consciously just going on the off chance that they're generous with the power-ups I don't need. How am I going to make this work? It's also not helping that... Well, two-factor. One, that knight in the top blocks your your timer. Thanks, buddy. Can you move more, like, to the right? That'd be nice. <laughs> no. The, the, the real problem is actually the knights. They take so many hits here. They're just draining your timer. Yeah. They have to just kind of decide... Do I want to use remote bombs or like danger sense bombs or something to speed this up or do I save them for later? They're kind of a, a trade-off enemy from what I'm seeing. Yeah, absolutely. And it's it's the tricky thing of at this point. Time is of the essence. Which we still don't know, buddy. Get Hey, down in front! Thanks, now I can see what I'm doing! Oi, some of us are trying to watch the show! You're seriously that one guy who just gets up in the middle of the movie and stands in front of the projector, aren't you? <laughs> Except you're also in a bulky suit of armor, so it's just even more obnoxious than that, <laughs> than the usual. Yeah, all, all, all you see at that point is maybe like one pixel of the movie. Welcome to the movie theater, I hope you brought your helmet! Never a sentence I thought I'd ever say, but there you go. I'm just waiting for him to turn around and ruin my day. Just book it over here. Yeah. I mean, other games do that. Not specifically Bomberman, but I know like other games I played, the enemy AI, it's like as soon as you get close to them, they turn around and whack you in the head. Mm -hmm. so I do half expect that in like any game I play for the enemies to do that. You get scarred once, you can never look back. I do like also that when the rook is trying to make the the um the shield pieces, if it tries to do it on a power up, the power up cancels it out, so it can't spawn. Yeah, it's interesting attention to detail. It also kind of helps that when they are making a new wall, they stop for a split second, so it makes it a little bit easier to line them up for a bomb. Yes, very true. So you can kind of see exactly what the AI is doing. Which, as opposed to a lot of the enemies that just decide to stop on a dime and turn around immediately, it's good. It gives you it gives you some good breathing room. Alright, 9-8. Nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> nope. Nope. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Alright, take four. Well, I guess you really don't have anyone to blame for yourself, if you're blaming yourself. Yeah. Accountability. It's the best policy. This is, this, this, this is just, this is, <laughs> All of these bombs are poorly timed. There we go. There. 
Like, the logic behind it's kind of sound, it's just the execution could use a lot of work. I think the nice thing here would have been if their shields broke after a bit, but nah, they seem to have the best sturdy shields. Yes. No, no, this is Bomberman, not an RPG, so they don't have a health bar. It's totally out of Where's their weapon degradation? Also, why do they have candy canes for their staffs? No, no. It's a barber's pole. Because, um... They administer very efficient haircuts. <laughs> we sure we can go with that. New headcan. The Knights of the Bomberman world are the most efficient hairdressers. I see what you did there. Headcanon. Ha! <laughs> Resisting the temptation to make every pun under the sun. Finally. Ah, oh, and of course... You knight von stuck in the middle of everything. If bomb makes a deal with everything in the left, feels accomplished of all dead. Oh yeah, that's right, there's a right side. So I've, got I've got cleaning to do over here. <laughs> That's like when you're cleaning your house and you feel so good you just clean the one room of yours. Like, oh, good. Oh, crap. There's like five more rooms to go through. <laughs> that, that does bring an interesting thought to mind. If you're cleaning a castle, is it still housekeeping? I mean, it's a very long and tedious house cleaning job. <laughs> I've had to use two clocks on this level. What is going on here? It's like it's too big or something. Oh, well, you better walk. <laughs> Whew. I really want to just make my life tense and anxious, don't I? You know what else I need besides a shield? A butt shield. Because it's right on my butt. I need the back shield from Smash. This this is the true reason why Bomberman wanted to be in Smash Brothers. He needed the back shield. No, that, <laughs> the back shield won't even save him in that situation. Also, I got love because of the size of the knight. You can't even tell where the destroyable blocks are around him other than the one on the right-hand side. Everything else is just vague. Yeah, seriously, why is he so big? He blocks so much. And it doesn't help he levitates, too, so bombs go through him. So there's the power on the floor, you destroy the power along with the guy. How many hits does it... Also, I got love the fact that I destroyed a 1-up. Well done, me. Not like I'm gonna need that. Oh, but I got a 1-up for points anyway. Yeah, I was gonna say, you got a 1-up just for killing him, so uh, the trade-off I think was worth it. But but it makes me happy when it's sitting at a comfortable 9. But is it really a 9 or is it a 10? Because in some games it's not a 9, it's an overflow glitch. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, this one doesn't have overflow. Once it hits 9, you die, and no matter how uh, many extras you get, it goes back to 8. Yeah, so... It's um, it's not like Sonic Advance, it's not like Sonic Rush. It's not like Banjo-Kazooie. No. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Release the centipede! This is just, this is complete and total nonsense. Get over here! Get over here! Thank you. Bomber well, man's got remote bombs and he's not taking anyone's nonsense today. Of course you <laughs> Rude. Using the shield to my advantage. <laughs> You're lucky that's the one thing they actually block. Yeah, I, I can make this work. I can make this work. Just experimenting way too much here. Oh my gosh. I'm my enemies, man. Why do they take four hits? Everything else is like two or three. Some of my timing on what I'm doing here is very unusual. I can sort of see where my brain was going with it, but at the same time I'm like, you could have made this a lot more efficient, mate. I say that in all my playthroughs, really. 
Oh, he could have made this a lot better. He just did this, 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 and this. That's why I feel like when I start seeing how big the timeline gets, like, okay, I cut out half of this footage. You could have done better. Why, me? Why did you do that? Why? Why would... Why would? Why would? Why not metal? There's gonna be a lot of slow claps in this playthrough, I just know it. But, I mean... Why wouldn't there be? Okay! The ninth boss! <laughs> so remember the Dracula boss? Oh gosh, he's back! Yeah, um... So, this is, this is... I don't even know what the mentality is behind this. Is it Dracula's wife? Is it Dracula's daughter? Regardless, let's just have that boss again, but with double the health. Cause that's fun. Yeah, cause that's a lot of fun. Just make it a sponge. I was just the mentality of no. Just, just no. Get out of here, you witch. This level <laughs> goes on for too long. I think that's a common theme of World 9. Welcome to our castle. You'll overstay your welcome. Welcome to the castle. There's more? 